So you can see in the fight that the, the augments take a very, very important role. For instance, you have those domes uh, that will slow down the enemies, so they are very important uh, if you want to have time to... to and what you're hearing right now has been created by the exactly. community. Exactly. They've been creating uh, jingles, you know, stingers uh, for this uh, Space Pirate Radio called Radio Cheetah. And they've also been created, of course, uh, the, a, a bigger uh, ship uh, owned by the police. And this one is actually too uh, big to be destroyed. Uh, mm. by the Beyond Good and Evil 2 is massive, and traversing its open star system is completely seamless, whether you're on foot, in vehicles, or in space. You play as a customizable space pirate captain who carries a sword, a gun, and a jetpack as basic equipment. Your character and weapons can also be enhanced with augments, which grant special abilities and let you experiment with different effects in combat. Trapping foes in a time-slowing bubble, for example, or freezing them in place with chained electricity. Enemies can also use augments, like these scientists who can heal their soldier buddies with augmented bullets, so you'll want to get a close look at who's carrying what and plan your strategy accordingly. In order to see what your enemies have equipped, you'll need your spyglass, which displays the stats, skills, and augments of other characters, as well as revealing more details about locations and points of interest, even from space. It's a key part of recruiting, too. Take a close look at an NPC with your spyglass, and you'll see if they have any skills worth adding to your space pirate crew. Of course, your crew isn't the only company you can bring along. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is an online game, and while you can play solo, co-op buddies can jump in or out at any time. You won't be tethered together either, and if you want to wander off and explore while another player does their own thing, you're free to do so. Welcome to Ganesha City, a dense, vertically built metropolis where the rich live at the top and the poor huddle in shanty towns built into the sides of the city's foundations. It's sprawling and richly detailed, and it's just one small corner of a moon called Soma, itself just a small piece of Beyond Good and Evil 2's gigantic open world. It's also built for aerial exploration, so in addition to your jetpack, you'll have access to a wide selection of flying vehicles. Any vehicle you see can be commandeered and driven, and they can all tune in to Radio Cheetah, a station by Space Pirates for Space Pirates. You'll also be able to fully customize your own rides, swapping out modules, wings, engines, equipment, and cosmetic options to tailor your machines to look good and hold their own in a fight. You'll need special equipment or skills to take on larger vessels, but your fighter ships are agile, able to execute barrel rolls, lock onto targets with homing missiles, and dogfight with police if you inadvertently break some city law like flying too close to a major tourist attraction or robbing a bank. And like your weapons, ships can be equipped with augments, enabling you to do things like firing healing missiles at your co-op partners. Your ships are also capable of hitting extreme speeds, covering thousands of kilometers in a matter of seconds. This is essential for getting around planets in a hurry, as well as for flying out into orbit to rendezvous with your mothership, a huge vessel that serves as your home base. Even out here in orbit, you can seamlessly transition from piloting a ship to spacewalking with a nano spacesuit to protect you from the vacuum. Popping out of the cockpit and into the cold abyss of space allows you to use your spyglass to investigate a planet, peering down at treasure hiding geoglyphs, cities, and settlements, all of which are still buzzing with activity far below you, enabling your co-op partner to explore and interact normally with city life even when you're this far apart. Alternately, you can switch over to the Universe Map, a fully 3D rendering of System 3 that can be zoomed in and out to give you an overview of everything from close-ups of a planet's surface to the continuously orbiting layout of the entire system. For more, watch the full Beyond Good and Evil 2 livestream linked in the description below. And to find out more as it develops, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Um build however here is what we have um so um we're going to start the demo with with what you guys created actually exactly. because yeah. uh we've said it um this is a, a demo that's been updated with the community created mm. assets mm. arts and music uh so we wanted to start with your contribution into our uh, common actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, demo so that's uh, Emil uh, you can yeah, let you, us know you, you about this. You see a lot of uh, example of uh, integrations from the community inside the demo but this one is really interesting because uh, it's actually a depiction of the Moksha's gate we've been talking about yeah. uh, something that hybrids are dreaming about uh, you know for them uh, they hope that one day they will cross this gate and reach a safe heaven uh, they will they, where they will live in complete freedom. Uh, emotional for us to show this because yeah. again it's not yeah, yeah. Uh, only our work it's exactly. the work created together yeah. so that's really really great. Exactly. Um, 
Um, so BGE uh, is an RPG, action adventure RPG. Uh, you can play alone or with your friends in co op. Uh, today's demo is going to be two players. So we have uh, Audrey on the um, right of the screen and Johan on the left of the screen. Johan and Audrey picked their characters exactly. at the beginning of, of BGE, so they are picking among the different DNAs that uh, Emil was uh, talking about earlier. And uh, Johan picked um, the DNA shared with Nox, so it's a monkey yeah, DNA. Hybrid monkey DNA. Hybrid yeah. monkey mm -hmm. DNA. He customized it uh, to his liking, so with a different outfit, so black outfit, face tattoos, uh, so it's really his. So what's happening here? Uh, we want to give um, uh, an adventure flavor to BGNE yeah. too, so, uh, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, our, our two players here, they have heard, you know, about strange rumors of uh, hybrid trafficking uh, taking place in an underground uh, abandoned temple of uh, Ganesha city. And so they've entered this uh, old abandoned temple and now they're exploring it. They don't know what they're going to find out. Yeah, it's very important. Exactly, on a quest. It's point. very important for us to, to, you know, to have these mysteries, uh, those investigations that you are going to lead to try to discover the darkest secrets you know, uh, taking place in System 3. Yeah, and, and, and so you're going to have in the game uh, many areas like this where you need to just search for your object, mm -hmm. ch search for, for things, unveil, uh, unveil the mysteries. Um, it's, it, it's key for us with, because we want this link with BGNE1 with yeah. this uh, adventure flavor. Um, we said in the beginning, uh, BGNE2 is about uh, make you feel as a space uh, pirate captain. Mm -hmm. So um, gameplay-wise, really concretely gameplay-wise, yeah. we define three key uh, abilities for you to, uh, to use as a, a space uh, pirate captain. Uh, these are the uh, moves that you're going to be doing a lot. So you've got a gun, you can shoot. Uh, you've got a sword uh, to fight close combat. Uh, and you've got a um, jetpack, so you can fly around. So these are your three key abilities. And on top of that, we added another layer that we call yeah, augments. What we call augments. So augments are actually uh, specific power, specific abilities that you can equip either on your gun, your sword, or even on your character. Mm -hmm. And depending on uh, where you equip them, uh, it will change their uh, their, their effects. Mm -hmm. uh, you can build specific decks, also combining different types mm -hmm. of augments. Uh, Keep in mind that augments basically will define your playstyle as a space pirate captain. And you're going to loot them, you're going exactly. to win, win unlock them, them and unlock find them the rarest uh, So here we see augments. that uh, Audrey has been frozen. Exactly. There, is friendly, there is friendly fire, there of is course, friendly fire. On, uh, on augments, so you can uh, annoy your teammates uh, when you play uh, in, in, in groups of friends. And the effects just accumulate to make exactly. some crazy Exactly. Yeah, you can stack uh, the effects of the augments. Yeah, very interesting for, also for that. So uh, once our demoists are finished, uh, are finished <laughs> pulling, pulling around, around yeah. with the with the augments, we're gonna go. We're gonna continue uh, the demo. Uh, so BGE is a game you play um, alone, as I said, or with your friend in co-op. But in this game, you don't need to stick together mm -hmm. in the universe. Mm -hmm. So here, Audrey is gonna be parting ways with uh, Johan for this small part, and and so she's gonna be going this in this corridor. We're gonna switch to Johan, uh, who took another route. Mm. Uh, so Johan is exploring this part of the of the temple, and he's stumbling upon um, uh, this giant, uh, this big, not giant, <laughs> this big dust bins yeah. uh, filled with uh, hybrid monkey parts. So arms, legs cut down to pieces. So it's a bit sad and a bit, yeah, creepy, a bit creepy. So yeah. it it goes in with your investigation yeah. of uh, knowing what's happening in this in this area. And uh, what we like to say is, if as a player, if you didn't escape your fate uh, as an hybrid uh, yeah. monkey uh, slave, then maybe you would have ended in this uh, dustbin yeah. with your uh, yeah. your fellow un uh, unlucky uh, uh, hybrid Hybrid's, monkeys. Yeah. So now Yuan is progressing carefully. We see in the distance that uh, there's some light and we can uh, distinguish some, uh, uh, some enemies. Uh, so we're going to go back, switch to Audrey's point of view for, for the, yeah, the yeah. next part of Audrey the Audrey is reaching the same room uh, from above and uh, we can see those creepy scientists in the distance, you know, making some weird experiments on hybrids. Uh, and now Audrey is using the spyglass, another very, very important equipment for our space pirate captains. With the spyglass, you can spy your, your, you can scan, sorry, your environment. You can also scan enemies. And when you scan enemies, you can see that they are also equipped with specific augments. Yeah, it's giving you a lot of information. Exactly. Augments that you have can also be equipped on enemies. And depending of the uh, augments equipped on the enemies, they will behave totally in different ways and attack you in different ways. So, so this guy is a pushback. Uh, exactly. Uh, and and, uh, and the creepy scientists, they have some uh, healing bullets. It means that they will be able to heal the guards uh, during the fight, so you have to uh, be careful about that. Uh, so if you want to take, take time to have the right strategy for your combat, it's always good you know, to scan your enemy first. Yeah, but you're not forced. Exactly, if you don't uh, want to, to do, it, do it, it and rush into the action, you can also do it, of course. Uh, 
just gives an extra layer. Yeah, so um, I think that's the moment where we switch back to Johan and, and exactly. our players are going to engage. They are going uh, to engage the fight, so they, they can synchronize between themselves to restart the, start the fight at the, at the best moment and at the best uh, strategy. So now we're going to go back on Johan. He's going, so he's going to, to using take, a yeah, take his gun to shoot actually an augment. He, he sh he's been shooting a freezing uh, augment yeah. on, on one of the scientists. Uh, and the start is now fighting. The, the, the big blue dome that you're seeing there is actually slowing down uh, enemies. So uh, once enemies enter this dome, they move very, very slowly. It's easier for you to, to hit them with your, uh, with your Ford. Um, and you can see that uh, during the fight, you can use the three basic abilities. A, 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 so exactly. shooting, augment, for example, uh, yeah. fighting with your sword, and also combining the jetpack so you can have um, uh, actions from the yeah, air you, down. You can launch some specific attacks uh, from your jetpack when you're flying uh, above above the enemies. Uh, so again, yeah, augments would be very, very important uh, for you to succeed uh, in your uh, fight against the, the various enemies that you will meet in the, in the game. In this demo, we have only a few augments. And, yeah, uh, yeah, very limited. GK is going to be coming a bit later to show to you, you an update about this. Yeah. Uh, and this is, this is very important for us to share this. Mm -hmm. The main message we want to give uh, to the players here is that we're bringing back uh, Melee Combat from BGN1 exactly, to BGN2. Exactly. So that's the key thing. Yeah, yeah. So we are done. Yeah, all the enemies have been uh, taken down. And now Johan is going to use uh, the spyglass again. As you can see, one of the hybrids uh, is not dead. Uh, Almost. Yeah, he's not in a good shape, not but he's not shape. dead. Uh, and you can scan him. And by scanning him, you will see that he has the skills of a mechanic. This is very important because, like I was saying, in the game, you will be able to recruit uh, your crew members among all the people you will meet. Uh, so you could, if you need a mechanic, you could actually recruit this guy to put, it, uh, to put him in your crew. Uh, we're not showing too much of this today, but keep in mind that building the best crew possible is very, very important in Beyond Good Evil 2. Yes, as we said, um, so you've got three key abilities, uh, your, your sword, mm -hmm. your gun and your jetpack. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's on the micro gameplay part of yeah. things. Uh, and uh, on a larger scale, uh, to, to define our space pirate experience, we want you to, to have your space captain, your crew and your ship. Yes. So these are the three, the three big pillars. Talking of ships, here are some. Uh, they, they are conveniently parked here for the purpose of the demo. Uh, the main thing here is that any vehicle you can you see in the game, uh, you can drive you can, it, you can, you can fly it. it. So mm -hmm. this overbike, this fighter, uh, you can you can fly them. Uh, our demoists are going to give us a, a tour through uh, outside of the of this uh, temple into uh, Ganesha City. Uh, so welcome to Ganesha City. Um, so this is uh, our. Uh, in-game version of uh, the city that you saw um, is in uh, in uh, our trailers. So that's the same the same place. Um, as I said uh, already, you can part ways. Uh, Johan is going to be doing his stuff uh, and still be in the same session, but uh, we will follow Audrey, who's going to give us um, a tour of. Uh, the inside of Ganesha City. So we start with the lower part of the city yeah, you can where see uh, yeah. the hybrid um, uh, are living. You can see the shanty towns where the hybrids are living right over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah It's a kind of a segregation going mm -hmm. on uh, yeah. in the city with hybrid totally, living totally. down uh, in, in the shanty towns yeah. and humans living up in the, uh, in, the, in the upper part of the city. Yeah. Um, we're going to Make a spotlight on this yeah, uh, on the giant yeah, uh, you can see a, fresco. A beautiful example of the community creation. Uh, this, yeah, uh, created by you. Exactly, <laughs> the, these murals, uh, religious murals, it's depicting, really of course, the, the divinity Ganesha. Uh, and as you, could, you can see, we had this huge wall, so we had to put it, uh, to put it there. Uh, keep in mind that there will be many, many places, uh, especially in huge city, uh, to display uh, actually creations from the community. Mm -hmm. So this would be a unique way for you guys to actually see your creations in, yeah. the, in the final game. Um, in the same way you can um, pick up any vehicle mm -hmm. and drive it, mm -hmm. you can land any place totally. uh, yeah. in the city, there's no problem. You can enter a lot of places as well, we'll see this in a, in a moment. Uh, we really like uh, this position in Ganesha City uh, on the, um, on the um, foot, foot of this, of this uh, huge, statue. huge yeah. statue. And this statue is mixing high-tech elements such as hologram and old-style um, um, statues. And we really like this very, very uh, specific uh, um, uh, atmosphere mm -hmm. that brings to Ganesha City and to science fiction as we, yeah. uh, as we see it. Um, you can see uh, there's a lot of traffic in, uh, in the city, but we'll, we'll see in the updated uh, videos on the traffic that we'll have later that we've uh, improved this a lot uh, over the past uh, mm -hmm. uh, few uh, months. Uh, in the city, so you've got uh, um, the traffic, you've got uh, statues, but you also got 
some specific locations, such as here, you can see the police station that's guarded uh, with um, scouting ships, police scouting ships, and also uh, a, a heavy uh, frigate. Yeah. Um, you can use your um, spyglass to have information on everything. And um, it's it's kind of uh, an upgraded version of the uh, of the camera, camera from, uh, from the first from the game, anyway. exactly. Yeah. So you can take pictures and etc. But you yeah. can do much more with this uh, pie glass. Uh, here you s we're scanning uh, the traffic to see what's uh, what kind of vehicles are there. Here we're scanning this uh, building to see it's a temple. Uh, you can enter this temple the yeah. same way we were in exactly, a few exactly. minutes ago. There's a bank here if you want to do some. Uh, robbery of, or if you just want to withdraw yeah, money yeah. Uh, to go to that shop for example yeah. for, for, for a pirate uh, all these uh, locations are opportunities yeah. you can steal those places you can attack them uh, you can yeah. also choose to actually buy something if you, exactly if you, if you, you want can to be buy, a nice pirate exactly you in, can this, do in it, the shop yeah. you can buy augments you can yeah, buy exactly. gear you can buy new outfits so it's really uh, uh, up to your liking so here Audrey is gonna steal, steal yeah. uh, another oh, borrow, uh, borrow. <laughs> uh, another uh, overbike um, so in uh, in the in this version, uh, there's no uh, police coming no, after no, you no, no. for this, but uh, it's yeah. it's coming in the, in today's in, in today's version. Uh, so here, what we are listening to is um, also a community created uh, uh, asset, uh, and uh, especially music uh, from for Radio Cheetah. Yeah, the the, the space pirate uh, space pirate radio. radio. Yes, exactly. Uh, so we'll leave uh, yeah. you to listen to this. The one is still here, playing with us. So we are coming to this um, location. That's uh, the gate of uh, Ganesha City Main Street. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the opening of the, of the of the city, and it's a place where tourists from all uh, system all over System Three are like like to come and to take. Uh, pictures, pictures of yeah. this giant um, Ganesha statue yeah. uh, that we're going to visit a bit later in yeah, the demo. Um, yeah. So now uh, we say that you can, BG &E 2 is about uh, your character, your uh, being yourself and expressing yourself in the in the game. Uh, so you can do it with your uh, captain, space pirate captain, but also with your ships. Yeah. Basically, keep in mind that all the aspect of your uh, pirate uh, fantasy, you will be able to customize mm -hmm. them uh, in the game. So you will be able to customize, of course, your uh, small ships, uh, the, uh, the fighters, as we call them. But you will be also able to customize uh, in the same way your huge mothership that we will see uh, a bit later, a bit later uh, mm -hmm. in the in the demo. So he, here, uh, Audrey is playing with the various uh, modules that are composing her fighter and changing completely, of course, the visual aspect of uh, this fighter, but also changing the way the this ship will, exactly the, the, the handling and the way you pilot this ship. Uh, she's also playing with the gear and she will finish with all the cosmetic uh, elements uh, to customize her ship. Uh, so the color palette, of course, uh, but also the pattern. And she will finish this uh, by putting an emblem, you know, pirate logo mm -hmm. uh, on, uh, on her ship. Uh, and you will see that uh, as, soon, as soon as she has finished the ship, she will be able to play with this ship mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in, yeah. the, in the demo. Instantly, exactly. you get into created. the ship. Yeah. Exactly. So in the, in the distance, uh, Johan, as you can see, as he approached a bit too close to the big uh, statue, the big Gansha so statue. The exactly. Point of view. And uh, there are rules in this city. And uh, it attracted the police. And the police is now attacking Johan. So Audrey is going to uh, try to join him He's to. Taking some hits. Exactly. To help him fight all those uh, small uh, police. He's a bit outnumbered. Exactly, a small police fighter. And there's also a big uh, frigate uh, there. Uh, and our two players are not strong enough at the moment to take down this frigate. So mm. they have to make sure that they, uh, they take down this small ship and try to escape. Uh, as you can see, we have this uh, pretty uh, nervous uh, dogfight. Uh, uh, that is... Uh, now we're back on Audrey. Exactly, Audrey is coming to help Johan. Um, uh, there will be also fights with big motherships. Mm -hmm. uh, those fights will play totally differently. Uh, it will be much uh, slower. Uh, you will have to move uh, your ship around the other one and fight at the right moment. Like naval exactly, like na exactly. Uh, but the dog fights are... Uh, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they play like this. And there's something we need to add is that uh, you have augments for your ships exactly. as well. Yeah, as for, your, for instance, uh, you could have uh, healing missiles and you could shoot them at uh, some friends to heal them mm -hmm. uh, during a co-op uh, fight. Uh, so they are doing a pretty good job taking down all those uh, small, small, fight ships, yeah, yeah. small fighters from the police. And as we said, so here is the big uh, exactly, frigate. Big frigate yeah. And uh, they are a bit, uh, they are a bit yeah, too weak for now. It's strong, you're seeing that the missiles don't, don't break it. So, so they are going to have to, uh, to, to escape to from escape, here. Yeah. But before this, I, uh, we asked you yeah. want to, to go very close to the yeah, head of the so statue. You, so you can see the details, yeah. 
uh, to show you the details yeah, of this yeah. giant statue that uh, was built um, by the inhabitants of Ganesha Probably City. built by a hybrid slave, by the way. Probably, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> the dark side yeah, of, of exa the Exactly. So um, Audrey is now putting a marker on her mothership, which yeah. is parked a bit uh, further away from uh, the city. It's, it's a few thousand kilometers away, so we're going to be uh, going to that place, but don't worry, uh, because we have really, really big speeds in the game. We'll be there in yeah. no time. So it's Stay with us. Stay with <laughs> us. Um, before this, Audrey will do a small stunt uh, close to the statue. Yeah. Oops. Pretty risky. Yes, thank nice. you. And uh, she's going to fly over uh, Ganesha City. So that's yeah, the city yeah. we were in a few uh, minutes ago. Uh, we're going to aim at uh, Cameron Spaceport, this city, and then uh, take up the sky to the um, to Audrey's mothership. Uh, and now that's my favorite moment of the demo. I'm saying to <laughs> everyone, please take a moment to remember where we were 10 minutes ago. We were inside a hidden temple beyond the surface of Ganesha City. We fought um, a close quarter combat uh, with uh, some uh, guards and scientists. Then we escaped through um, um, through the city with uh, overbikes and uh, uh, through the, traf the traffic. Uh, we fought against the police uh, around the giant statue uh, and uh, then uh, flew to this um, uh, location on top of the, the planet. So really, in, in a few minutes, we went seamlessly from uh, a small interior to uh, the grand uh, view of the, the, the full exactly, planet. Exactly. And that's one of the key things in BGNE2. It's that difference of scales that you can feel during the gameplay and transitioning from uh, a, a small scale, yeah. like a human scale, to a planetary yeah, scale yeah. In, uh, and going through the spaceship scale. So it's very mind boggling. And, and that's what really drives us to, uh, to move forward. We want that feeling to be super cool. Um, a, quick, so, a quick comment yeah. about the, the oh, mothership yeah, of, of Audrey. She, she customized the, her mothership to make it look like the Gada, mm -hmm. the famous mothership uh, from uh, of the, of the Kini, yeah. the one we've been showing in our two uh, trailers. But you, you can imagine that you can customize it in a totally uh, different way. And it's roughly 500 meters long. Yeah, it's pretty so long. It's a really pretty big. huge ship, yeah. So Audrey is, uh, has exited uh, her spaceship, uh, her fighter, sorry. Uh, and you can see a very rough effect on, uh, on the, her character. It's, um, it's, it's just a work in progress uh, effect to show you that you've got a shield uh, when you are out in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the, in the open. You can breathe uh, with no difficulty. Uh, if you want to see a better uh, looking version, version yeah, yeah. Uh, look at the 2018 trailer yeah, last when trailer. Shani is exiting uh, her space uh, fighter to go to the, to the, space, yeah. to the space and she, she's, uh, she's having, she has this kind of effect. I was talking about scale, so it's yeah. very important for us to have uh, um, links between the different scales yeah. of gameplay. Yeah. So this so, yeah, geoglyph is, is kind of... This is scale. another great example of uh, community, community uh, cre cre creation. Yeah, uh, This is a giant geoglyph. Uh, we want to have several uh, geoglyphs like this on the surface of the different planets. Uh, Reminds you of the Nazca. Like exactly, planet. exactly. Uh, so this has been created by the community. And um, the idea is that when you see a geoglyph like this from space, when you are flying above the planet, uh, these geoglyphs are actually ints uh, for treasures hidden on the ground of the planet or maybe... Or Secret, mysteries yeah, mystery secret entrance to temples. Uh, and the idea is that we want you to, you know, come closer to this geoglyph and land on the ground of the planet to try to find uh, the secret uh, inside this uh, geoglyph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a way for us to attract you to the surface of the planet exactly. uh, from outer space. Yes. Um, we are going to use the spyglass again uh, to look at um, Ganesha City from this uh, distance. Uh, you, will yeah. you will see that we can scan uh, everything uh, in the game, including large cities. Um, so, um, uh, Ganesha City is pretty far away at that point. It is. <laughs> and, but and we're zooming on it. We're yeah. zooming on it. We see the information, yeah. Ganesha City. And we can even see the giant the statue, uh, statue yeah. that we flew around a few minutes ago. It's here. It's rendered in real time uh, by our engine. So, if. And Really? Yes, st st uh, traffic is still running in the city exactly. at, that, at that moment. Everything if, is still if there. If Johan, our co-op player, is in the city, yeah. he can, we can join him again, and there's no no loading, nothing. It's all, all seamless. Exactly. And and when we say seamless, we mean that not only we can go from scales to to different scales in the same uh, time, but also the different systems are crossing themselves seamlessly. Uh, this is our universe map. Uh, so it's not a regular 2D map of uh, of the of the game uh, universe. It's a real thing. This is the planet that we were on a few minutes ago, rendered normally, and it's just a point of view that we give to you. So here we can see the giant geoglyph here, that Emil and I just uh, mm -hmm. talked about. We can see Ganesha City. We've placed um, uh, icons so that you can conveniently 
uh, find your way back uh, some well to the places you've been already. We've got some question marks to tease you on some mm -hmm. new stuff. Uh, and uh, earlier in the stream, Gab and Emil told, show, showed you um, uh, a concept art of, um, of the planet of Soma. And this is what you see here. So we've got New India. And if we rotate the planet on the left, then we see Naraka. So that's the side that's uh, hit by meteorites. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's, yeah. it exists in the game already. You can see those huge uh, craters, you know, created by the, all those meteorite showers, you know, falling on the, on the ground of the planet. Uh, this uh, side of the planet, Naraka, of course, there are no cities there. You can't uh, build a city like Ganesha City on this side of the planet. But if you want, you can go and explore it uh, as, a, as a space pirate. And as we saw in the artwork, there are some mines for... Uh, exactly. For there, are, there will be things to explore, of mm -hmm. course, on this side uh, of the planet. But it's a very dangerous uh, exactly, part of the exactly, planet that exactly. uh, you cannot really settle in. No. <laughs> if we zoom uh, back again uh, a bit, uh, we see that this is the planet we are working on. It's very big in size. As you see, uh, Ganesha C is small. But we can even zoom back and to see in real time, again, it's, it's, it's in-game. It's not uh, an image. It's, we see the real Soma, the real Deus, which is yeah. uh, the gas giant. Soma is rotating yeah. around. Um, and it's rendered by our um, um, uh, simulation, actually. And if we zoom back again, we see the whole system three. And again, this is um, uh, your um, your uh, zone uh, for playing. The area that you you have to explore in the game. Uh, this is a great moment to talk about our day and night cycle. Yeah. We didn't code any day and night cycle in the in this game. The the day and night cycle is created by the by, fact that planets are rotating around this the sun. You know, uh, so it's, we have a, actually a solar system simulation in the in the game created. Uh, this day and night so, cycle. So we've got beautiful sunsets. Exactly. That they are you know personally generated. Ex exactly. Sunsets. Exactly. Um, so we are back on uh, Audrey, and actually we're going to switch to Johan uh, to end up this demo. Uh, I said several times that you can part ways with your, uh, with your co-op friends in the game and then join again without all of this seamlessly. And that's, you, you can do it in a small dungeon, you can do it in a city, but you can also do it across the whole universe. So here Johan is a living ground. Uh, and um, you can see that because he's still in the atmosphere, there is friction, air friction on his uh, spaceship. Uh, as soon as it's going to be uh, out of the atmosphere, the effects of the flames are going to diminish like this, meaning no air friction anymore. And now it can reach speeds uh, that are um, uh, huge speeds. Huge speeds. Yeah, yeah. Audrey is still here uh, on the planet. So, so, uh, so as I said, uh, everything is happening in the same, uh, same universe uh, completely uh, seamlessly. Um, I think that's the end of exactly. uh, our yeah. game uh, yeah, yeah. demo. As a hybrid slave, yeah. then maybe uh, he would have uh, ended up um, in these uh, boxes and uh, cut down into pieces. Um, so yeah, so that's to give a bit of, uh, of context about the world we are, we are living. So we are back on uh, Audrey, who's playing uh, the female character. Yeah, and she's arriving in this uh, kind of creepy room where we have those uh, scientists making some weird experiment. The fight? Yeah, let's see how these guys uh, handle the fight. So you can see in the fight that the, the augments take a very, very important role. For instance, you have those domes uh, that will slow down the enemies. So they are very important uh, if you want to have time to actually uh, progress uh, next to your enemies and, uh, and hit them. Because they have those uh, yeah, healing, healing bullets. Uh, healing yeah. bullets. Oh, oh, a nice uh, yeah, freeze. Nice free, freeze, uh, uh, freeze augment. Three yeah. person freeze. Exactly. So we want those combats to be, you know, very, very dynamic, and uh, and again, the, the, the in those uh, in those fights. Yeah, in here we have just only a, a few samples. Yeah, exactly. Um, the so they did a great job. They yeah, good job, guys. Take down all those enemies, and now we can see that one of the hybrids that they were doing experiments on is still alive. So Johan is using the spyglass to scan uh, this animation of the of the players in this uh, game. Yeah, I said uh, earlier <coughs> that uh, as a pirate captain, you have a gun, a sword, yeah. and a jetpack. Then you have a ship and a crew as mm -hmm, well. That's mm -hmm, very exactly. important for us. And we will see the ship actually in a few yeah. seconds. Well, uh, now uh, we're going to go out of the uh, of this um, uh, small temple, mm -hmm. drive it right. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, we're going to go out of the uh, of this uh, building, as I said, into the uh, into the city. Uh, and this city is uh, Ganesha City. Mm -hmm. So this is the self and put their own uh, artworks. Uh, Careful, so, Audrey. <laughs> so you can expect a lot of places uh, like that in the cities where uh, huge artworks will be uh, displayed and artworks created by our community, which is really something unique. One thing we want to convey as uh, as, uh, as cities go um, is 
the mix between um, uh, new technology, mm -hmm. holograms, mm -hmm. and uh, old style uh, monuments, such as this uh, giant statue. Uh, everywhere you see, uh, uh, whatever you see on the, in the city, you can land on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no, uh, no hidden wall. Out. Then to convey this freedom, freedom um, uh, uh, feeling, we have this seamless, um, another um, motor, bike, flying motorbike, and uh, we're going to continue the tour uh, of, the, of, the, of the city. So This radio in most of the, yeah. the world, because it's the radio that uh, the space pirates are listening to. And what you're hearing right now has been created by the community. Exactly. They've been creating uh, jingles, you know, stingers uh, for this uh, space pirate radio called Radio Cheetah. And they've also been created, of course, uh, they've been creating some specific songs, uh, rock and roll songs and songs that really embody this, uh, you know, rebellious uh, aspect that we want to your, your experience as a space pirate captain. And one of those aspects is, of course, the, the, the ships that will be very, very important for your experience. Uh, so here, Audrey is in the customization menu for the, for the ship and she's, uh, she's changing modules uh, that will actually change of course the visual aspect of the game but the, of the ship sorry but also the way the, the you, uh, you you pilot uh, your ship the, the the statistics of your uh, of your uh, mm. ship uh, so you can change the, the different modules the wings the uh, owned by the police and this one is actually too uh, big to be destroyed uh, mm. by the player because they are not equipped with the right equipment on their uh, ships so uh, they, they have to take down those uh, small ships and try, and try to, uh, to, to escape. What's really important also is that we've been talking about the augments. Uh, the yeah. ships will also be equipped with augments. Yeah. For instance, you will be able to have some uh, healing uh, missiles to, uh, to heal your, uh, your partners in co-op. Yeah. Exactly, so this will also give a lot of depth uh, with those spaceship Whoa. battles. And here we're seeing an example of a dogfight, of course, yeah. but you also have to imagine that you will have much more uh, bigger you know, battles uh, involving mother ships. Yeah. We'll see a mothership uh, later, uh, and you have to imagine that you will be able to fight also with those motherships. Can you guys go close to the uh, to the big statue so that we can <laughs> see the, the just the size of it? Yeah, it's huge. Wow. Thank you, you very much. On the statue. Nice. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so uh, now that this um, this her mothership, which is a ship much bigger than this one, um, a few uh, seven kilometers away from yeah. uh, where we are. Big speeds, whoops, nice. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna fly over uh, Ganesha city. So that's the streets where we were just in before. Um, and they are still, and here, that's the moment that's very important for me and I like to do it. <laughs> I want to remind everybody watching that uh, a few minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, we were inside a small temple um, fighting uh, some uh, weird scientists simply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that's really what we want to point out and that's what we think BG and Newton 2 is going to be very special to play. Uh, yeah, so and, yeah, and fix are still running in real time. It's important to say yeah. that, the, the, like you were saying, the city is still active. Exactly, and, uh, exactly. Everything and the, is still running. And the running. planet below mm -hmm. is, is there. We can go anywhere exactly, on the planet. Exactly. We can even go to uh, other planets. Yeah. Uh, so here, um, Audrey is going to get out of the spaceship. Yeah, on uh, on, sh on uh, the character, you see yeah, uh, shield, yeah. a small um, uh, shield effect that's very work in progress. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. it's going to be better looking, sir. But, uh, but for the consistency of the, the, the world, we wanted to make sure that you can get out of your uh, spaceship uh, without uh, dying from, um, mm -hmm. from the lack of air. Mm -hmm. So there's a, some kind of nano suit or something like this exactly. uh, to, to allow you to, um, to be outside of your ship, even if there's no air to breathe. And on the planet, uh, we can see another good example of actually uh, creations yeah, from yeah. our community via it record. Uh, these creations are mysterious uh, geoglyph. Uh, so this is a monkey, of course, mm -hmm. and those uh, geoglyphs will be actually some of them actually will be uh, some hints for some treasures, you know, yes. hidden on the planet. So you will be seeing those geoglyphs as you fly in space, you know, on the planet and you will have to go close. drunk in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. It's full. Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Mm, 
invigorating. Captain to crew, dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El Space Chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige, bet we could use your Space Chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredients to good cooking mm, is love. Hey, the fuck? I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Oh. Hey, yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date who don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. Mwah. What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, pig. <laughs> bon appetito. I want every fucking cop in this fucking city <laughs> after that FUCKING
about bloody time. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Moksha. Just as Yama described it. True freedom lies beyond. 